Okay, so today I'm going to do some spring maintenance on my Craftsman six and a half horse mower. It needs a new spark plug, a new air filter, and a new blade. Our first thing to do is oops, unplug the spark plug. So now we have no spark. We're not going to be worried that uh, this thing is going to try and eat my hand while I'm... So, my first project is going to be replacing this terrible, horrible, pitted, wrecked blade. If you could see, right here it's actually dented. Um, yeah, it's pretty badly destroyed. So... I got my fancy tools. A 21 inch universal mulching ore blade. Which on the package it says craftsman mowers. And uh, I got it at Canadian Tire, so that's going to be my first job is to replace the blade. Okay. Got a couple of blocks of wood. So what you want is to be able to stop the blade from turning and uh, cutting your hand off. I also bought some WD-40 because I'm fairly sure that although I have already WD-40 this uh, bolt, it's going to be a bear to get off. Just absolutely miserable. So I am um, got some WD-40, and I'm going to give her a good shot, and hopefully that will help me get it off. You can see maybe there's a little crack between where it attaches. is in really bad shape, so it could be really hard to get off. I have me a brand spanking new set of deep sockets, which were pretty much bought exclusively for this project. Um, and I'm sure I'll use them about a billion times afterwards, but our that is where's the 916. These are half inch deep sockets, and I got a half inch breaking bar. So I blocked my block into the hole to stop the blade from moving. And using my socket and breaking bar, I have motion, <laughs> which makes me happy. <laughs> this is how I've got it broken. I replaced the breaking bar with a ratchet. It'll make my life easier. Right. So here's my nasty old broken blade and where it came from. I'm saving the nut, although I think I have replacement washers, so I might be replacing the washer. This more blade kit came with several washers and a bunch of adapters, because it's a universal blade, so they have to set it to fit. I think there was a dozen different mowers on there. The center hole on my old blade looks like that, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. Adapter sticks in the hole. Put the adapter in, and the big flat washer underneath. And then we put the old bolt on the lock washer through from the flat washer side and attach it to the uh, mower. And FYI, there were two washers, so that one and this one. This is the lock washer. This is the only one I need to keep. And now I'm going to 
put the whole thing onto the mower. Okay, so I discovered something real quick while I was working with this. Because I was using a deep socket to take it out, um, I actually had to take the screw, the bolt, out of the deep socket and screw it in finger tight before I used the um, socket. Because otherwise the, the uh, bolt just totally disappears into the socket. So, just something to think about. Okay, so we carefully see there are two little pegs which hold the blade in place. I need to really screw it down good and tight over those, just so that it doesn't go flying. Alrighty, so I uh, again blocked my blade, and I used the breaking bar to get it good and tight, and I think she's ready to go. Good and tight, not coming off anytime soon.